Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. You can see that I'm in a different location and that's because I moved recently since my last few videos that I filmed like sitting down not like at the barn or anything. So I did move recently and this is my current background for filming but I will be changing it around. I'm still unpacking and getting settled in my apartment. But today is going to be a tack haul and this is a collective tack haul throughout the last month or so. I think I have a couple things from Stateline Tack and most of it is from like local consignment shops. So I will let you know where I got everything and show you the products that I got recently. So the first thing I have here, it's kind of boring. I got this from the Pennsylvania Horse Expo and I did actually get a second one of these but I gave it to my mom. This is the cattle wrap. So it's basically vet wrap, just a different brand. And I got this for 99 cents. Whenever I find vet wrap really cheap by the singles, I typically always buy it just so I can have some on hand. And the next two things are from my local like animal health store. I picked up two of Sassy's joint supplement, which is the liquid version of ActiFlex. And then while I was there, I also picked up these. These are thinning shears. These are the Par Trade Trading Company brand. So basically they're scissors, but they have like these little edges right here that look like a comb. And I think this will be really helpful for when I'm pulling Sassy's Mane. And I do cut most of it and then I pull the edges just to make sure it looks a little bit nicer. And then I got a sample of this. This is the Coat Defense Preventative Daily Powder. And I have used the Coat Defense in like the ointment and like paste version. I've never tried the powder, but I've heard really good things about it. Thought I would pick it up because Sassy is prone to getting scratches. And thankfully I did clip her legs, so fingers crossed she won't get them this year. But I was happy to get this little sample. And then speaking of clipping Sassy's legs, I did purchase my first pair of clippers. I purchased little handheld ones in the past, but these are my first like big girl clippers. I got the Andes ones. I'll put the official name down below and I'll put the picture on the screen, but I got them from Tractor Supply. Definitely an investment, but I'm happy to have a pair of clippers. Thankfully, I got it with my tax return, so I had a little extra spare cash laying around. But I've been wanting clippers for a while, specifically to clip Sassy's legs and also clip the rest of her body because she does shed, but I'm not sure if I'm going to clip her for like the spring and summer yet. Next, I got a couple things from my local consignment tax shop. I'm really excited about this. So the mouthpiece is a French link and then the cheek piece is an egg butt and I don't have any egg butt bits and I've been wanting a French link but I didn't want to spend a lot on it. I do need to clean this up a little bit and there is like a little bit of writing on it because it was a used bit but this was $10 and I couldn't pass it up. I prefer like a D-ring so I'm interested to try the egg butt. I've heard pretty good things about an egg butt mouthpiece. It provides a little bit of stability. I'm trying to have a little bit collection so then when I eventually get a second horse, I won't have to buy a bunch of bits. And I can also try this one on Sassy and I do think she'll like it. I'm running very low on tax sponges. So I picked up a 12 pack of their tax sponges for $6. Also got a new leather cleaner that I am excited to try. I've never tried this one before. This is the FX Later Balsam or Leather Balm. And I just got a smaller size of it. This was $9 and it does have a funky smell to it. I don't know. It does smell like leather cleaner, but I can't really describe the scent. And I've heard this is pretty good and very conditioning. I currently just have Leather New because I wanted like a glycerin type of liquid soap. And I do like the Leather New, but if it's like really old gross tack, it doesn't really condition it that well and it doesn't clean it very well either. So I'm excited to have this. And thankfully none of my tack is like super old right now because I do have fairly newer stuff. But anyway, I'm just excited to try this. And then I also got some Venice Turpentine because I did pull Sassy's shoes on Tuesday, March 17th, and she was a little bit foot sore the next day. So I did get some Venice Turpentine, which I'll have to go to the barn and put on her feet again today. But I used it before. It works really well on horses that are a little bit foot sore, at least for Sassy. It usually clears up her foot soreness pretty quickly, which she doesn't have that often, but since she is barefoot, I completely understand why she's a little bit sore. And finally, I have a couple things from State Line Tax. So I'm still waiting on a package to come in, but it's because it's a replacement for this. So this is one of their standing wraps and I ordered a four pack of them and I just got one of these like floating in my package, but I did call them. They're gonna be sending me four of these. So the original four pack and they said I'd keep this. So that's really nice of them. Hopefully that comes in soon, but I just wanted to get some standing wraps because I didn't have any. And then the last thing I have is a Defender 600 denier turnout blanket. So it has 200 grams of fill and it is this purple plaid, but I thought the like inside of it 
inside of the plaid would be more purple but it's actually brown so I probably should have just looked at better pictures so I don't think this is like the cutest blanket ever but I wanted an extra medium weight or like medium to lightweight blanket because Sassy wears the blanket the most and it gets disgusting and I really need to wash all of her blankets right now so I just wanted to get like an extra one and hopefully I can get some more cuter blankets in the future. <laughs> So that's it for my tack haul. I'm sorry it wasn't more exciting. Like I didn't have like saddle pads or breeches or anything. It was more just stuff that I needed. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a beauty channel if you want to check it out. It is called Courtney K and I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.